All right. Hey, uh, day two. Sorry, you go. Day two, a lot of nonsense. I don't know if they were helpful bike tips. They're gonna be in there. Uh, a lot of working out and uh, what do we have to put in here? If you're not here, you should have some FOMO because we're giving stuff away. We're about to do a, uh, we're about to go do a massive <laughs> Yeti giveaway during the podcast. So you guys tune in. We're giving stuff away like it's our job. And if you're not here though, you can still get one month of free Mayhem Athlete training by using the code GAMES23. Thank you. GAMES23. Yeah, GAMES23. There you go. Tomorrow. You'll have to watch that episode, but we're going to be on a boat, too. Woo! Yes, we're going to Centurion. Check that one out. All right, 11 o'clock. Good job, girls. Zooming. From an athlete perspective, it's really easy. You ride hard, you switch bikes, you race to the finish. That's it. Just keep going until you get waved off the course. It's really that simple. We'll see you guys out there. I'm so cold. You got the sheavers? I got the sheavers. Ice coffee doesn't help. I think they're fun. I really like the first workout, and then all three of them are really good at biking, so I can't wait just to sit there and hope somebody's by me to take the bike away. <laughs> yeah, they are insanely good. It'll just be fun to see like how high I can go on the seat compared to Zoe, since you can't change the seat height. But yeah, they're all three really good, so it'll be fun. Wouldn't it be crazy if we did like a six-hour ride like at the mountain or something? Thanks, man. Good to see you. Hey. Hi, Z. Hi, Norm. Zoe. I know you want to assert your dominance, but do not show everyone today how fast you can bike. Assert your dominance. Yeah, it's going to be a little different on this course. I saw kind of a picture of it. It's really twisty turny, I think. Yeah, it is. So I don't know how we're going to get any speed, but it's going to be really important to take the, tur take the turns as smooth as possible. So I'm going to get some practice doing that. The bike ride one looks pretty fun, actually. It's just uh, an hour. Do you hear it? Yeah. yeah, an hour, an hour relay basically. So we just get to, um, we just get to send it like way harder than individuals will because we get to trade off. It's pretty much just send it as hard as you can and not think too hard. So it's pretty good. Unpaid promotion. They're the only ones that have like semi good espresso. That's your double espresso. Okay. When Luca is here, he gets my brother. He gets triple espresso. It feels a bit burned. But don't worry, I will whatever. <laughs> I'm really ready to get this started. We've been working on at least everything that has been thrown to them at this stage, and they, you know, they they build the skills, they build the volume, and they are they are looking forward for it to start. When you were able to train and to get used to a certain movement or a certain you know type of adaptation, you come here and you're confident, and that's their case. So they are they are looking forward for for day number one. I thought you were gonna like pinch my neck that. Well, you're not gonna be doing that on the bike. How tall are you guys? Ten? Large, large. We ride a large. Hey. I'll be here waiting. Hey, you go all the way around. Speed height good? You can go ahead. Just here. And then run with it. Well, she doesn't know. Just run with it here. Don't do any of this shit. We're gonna be running into it. This will steer it. This will steer it, and you just let it you know, bump and do shit. Just all you need is a hold right here. To run that? Not when you run with it, no, not that. I'm a small helmet. I don't know how to feel team. about this. Sorry? Really? Are we missing a member of the team? Got a little head. This is a nice helmet, this okay. yeah? It's really, Why it's really quick. Go over to that table. Okay. And you'll need a sticker on the back <laughs> of your helmet. All right, thank you. Get a medium. Ask for a medium. You're small. I think you're the only guy not wearing an Oval jersey. Oh, someone's got to represent out here. Right? Did you really get a small? Does it feel loose or tight? Like it feels fine. Can't it? Yeah, no, my, the small is like spot on. I had to tighten a little bit too. How's that feel? Like you want a little bit of movement, right? What do you reckon? 
Oh, maybe maybe a small as well. Yeah. Uh, wait, line. <laughs> we tried. Is it choking you when you put your head down like that? Don't do that. No. You can like make it a little bit looser if you need to. Is that yeah. the hip yeah. Yeah. It might well, just be the seat and he's just. It's pretty good. Good. Yeah, yeah. Try that. That's too different. I think no. you're a lot longer in the torso. So wait, boom, boom. It's a double, double front gearing. I'm not used to that. So that's I'm used to down. Up. That's downshift or like easier, and, then and that's upshift, up, like harder. Yeah, we're well, not too bad. Uh, Royce and Christy do a lot more biking than myself and Marnie, but. I mean, Marnie and I have enough experience that we're confident as a team of four we should perform pretty well on this event. We'll send Royce and Christy out first because they're more experienced. Obviously, we'll try and get them out on the course as much as we can. Um, but yeah, it should be fun. It's 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 leggy for sure, like, uh, but there's plenty of room to like push hard on the corners and you know. So if you know what you're doing and you can and you're confident, you can make a lot of make a lot of time out like coming out of the corners and things. So um, yeah, it's good. We went for like we tried to take it for like a decently hard spin today just to get a real feel for how the track's going to be. Um, yeah, it'll be hot, it'll be leggy, but it'll be fun. Um, I like tracks like that where it's just like fitness, not much like skill and coordination. <laughs> um, but I had the seat down super low. I don't know if that if that's Christie's height or not, but um, it has to be high, otherwise it was just <laughs> too yeah. much on the legs. Yeah. But um, yeah, we'll just quickly test that out now and see what the perfect seat height is. But no, it was good. Really looking forward to it tomorrow. Ooh, Very though. sprinty race. But, it, but if you have to reach too high, that'll hurt us even worse. Especially because it is, it is bumpy enough. You can lose you can lose a pedal. You can like split the pedal if it's too high. No, it's, yeah, it's not worth going any higher for you. Like the, my foot slipping yeah. off the pedal and stuff. But yeah, it's basically just like it's like doing 50 cal assault bike sprints back and forth with a partner. It's just it is absolute suckage. And then about a minute after you get off the bike, you feel good. There's a, like one curve on some gravel. That's a little slippery, but that's the only one. Other than that, like I, you just can't use your rear brake on it. I'm just thinking about how I just get I so it nervous. When I'm, like I'm good going <laughs> off the pedal that way, but then going back on, I get nervous. Yeah. Okay. The more you can learn the track, the better off you're going to be because you want to set yourself up yeah. for the straightest path as you can in each corner. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So learning the course is going to be the biggest yeah. thing. If you can learn the course and knowing what you need to do and how you need to set up for the next corner and then know that you're not always going to have the optimal line if you're racing people. Yeah. The more straight you can make the turns, the more momentum you're going to keep. Stay off that brake. It's all about momentum. The more momentum you can carry, the less power you have to put into the pedal out of the turn and get back up to speed, okay? Carrying momentum is the name of the game. Stay away from this brake as much as you can. Use this brake as little as you can. The left is the front. Is the front. Stay off of that one as most as much as you can. Don't touch this brake. I just touched that side. Keep one finger on this brake. One. So sometimes going slower is actually faster. If you lose two seconds on a corner over 13 corners, that's 26 seconds a lap. That's huge. I would stay in like yeah. Don't burn your quads out. I would stay in like a middle gear that you can one up, one down. I wouldn't go probably more than that. If you need a break on the quads, get it in a hard gear and use your body weight. Slow down your cadence, it'll bring your heart rate down. That's something that I've done a lot lately. Yeah. You back off just for a second just so that the gear can shift yeah. and then you go. Yeah. Don't, just can't be grinding don't, the whole yeah, don't time. Don't be hammering on it, not with these. Down, down is to go easier, up is to go harder. Right is for the rear brake, left is for the front brake. Deal. She's serious and I'm joking. <laughs> oh, I was like, okay. I was like, I know that, but I'm going to let you say, you know. Like up, just like up yeah. and down. And then we have okay. yeah, straight so I mean, into the right. If you can get right. in a little bit of an arrow position on some of it, it might not be a bad idea. Mm -hmm. uh, just kind of tuck in there and, and use that for just 45 like minutes. Save it might some save, yeah, save you some energy. And people are going to go out freaking hot. Mm -hmm. And 45 minutes is a long time. Yeah. So. Some people are going to push really hard and some people are going to stay in the middle and then after the lap number two, 
everybody is gonna ride the same pace. Yeah, well, but here's the deal is like, you're gonna know real quick who can ride and who can't. Get away from the people who can't ride. It's gonna be like 40 of us going into that turn at the same time. So it's like, how do you get away from the people that... No, don't be sorry. You're not here to make friends. You can be friends after the event. So that first turn will not make or break your race, but it could ruin your weekend. You know, like if you make it, you're great. But if you mess it up or something happens, you're it's done. Just, so just don't get in any wrecks. Be smart yeah. on the first couple laps. All right, so. Getting make, on sure you're, make sure you're set up right. That's going to be a big thing. Uh, finding the gear that you like, it's kind of like your home gear. You probably won't go one or two up from that. And watch the video of the course over and over tonight and just think about where you would shift and how you would shift. That's gonna make a big difference. So grab, up and down, and then you run with it, whatever, however you're gonna run with it. To get back on it, on the pedal, let it coast, hop on. So, go ahead and ride it. I'll, you might be better on Rory's, but, so, that's close. You wanna be a little, yeah, that's, that's, that would be low for you. Yeah, maybe low, yeah. Ride it off, and then it's just up and over. And then I saw people trying to get back on the bike and then go. So as the bike's still going, hop on the pedal. Yes. Yeah, go. Okay. You're running, just grab, pull up and over, and then find the pedal, and then you're on. That's gonna be huge. Mm -hmm. That's huge. <laughs> do not, do not, about... do not. If I see either one of you trying to get on the seat first, you are fired. You go, don't go up and over like this. Yeah, so I was just doing like one wheel and then one no, wheel. No, just hip it up. We'll see if you have to. Put that seat right in your hip and just hip it up. The big thing is just going to be practice this. Thank you. Yeah, just practice on that. There you go. Oh, you got it. Yeah. Just like that. Perfect. Hand on the neck. Hand on the neck. Yesterday in the practice. <laughs> I was like, I look like an idiot right now. <laughs> Put your foot on there and just start pushing around. There you go. Just keep doing that. There you go. That's keep it. Keep doing that. Now swing your leg over. They get it and they start doing it right you see just how like how like efficient it is even if it is a second a second that's that that's a huge separator so even yesterday just during the practice like i wasn't getting on the bike right but even then i was still getting on way faster than some of the girls that were fumbling and here i have two three seconds for one transition went from a caterpillar to a butterfly today got the nails done ready to go ready to compete now Contingency wise, we shot for the stars and we made 10. And this is the ninth one, and it's not even like we're halfway through the day right now. So, what's your plan for tomorrow? How many? Uh, 15 to 20, we'll decide later this afternoon. Oh my gosh, 20 brisket. We doubled what we made from yesterday. So, thinking that it was going to be relatively busier on a Wednesday. 
so we doubled it, and that we thought that was being conservative or aggressive. Me? Just hanging around. <laughs> uh, so we got here yesterday. Today I coached a class at Deer House. Uh, then we went to the hotel, slept, came here, hanging out, and most of the most of all is this. Some of a brisket sandwich. Road 31 miles. I probably should have had some food, but I didn't. Is it strange to be at the CrossFit Games for the first time in a long time, not to be competing? Ever? Yeah. Mm. Yes. Uh, no. <laughs> <It's weird>. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are eating like you're eating like you're like you're 20. Dude, these are real. I, I forgot who showed me a PB. I think it was my youngest brother. I watched him doing PB and P, P and J raps. That's an elk hunting move right there. Mm -hmm. Does Jess know you're eating like this? Yeah, unfortunately. But it's good. Here. Do what I want. This is a taco. So this is a taco? A bit. Is this okay? That's great. How far did you bike? 31, two hours. And we had on CrossFit shirts and she said, oh, you guys are coming three, to the two, event. Sorry, three, three, two. No, I was stretched by the lake. Oh, even better. <laughs> I had people on me down. What's it called again? Pliability. Yeah, get it right. CrossFit yoga. Yeah. You <laughs> know The girls are going to be way faster on the ski. Nine, 12 to nine, like they're going to be faster. For sure, but you're gonna be waiting for the person on the ski. Well, it's only one seated for the other person, and then you switch. They ski, you do a seated legless, and then you go over. It's I think so. I think they're gonna start. Zoe's gonna start on the rope. He's gonna start on the ski, and then they're gonna switch. That way, the girls always hit the rope climb fresh off the rest. Watch that course a lot, so that you know when to cut in and cut people off on those turns. Yeah, I would watch it a ton. Yeah, memorize the hell out of it. Get out of my way. Miss you, honey. Miss you, mom. Relax. If you're gonna timid, then it's it doesn't work. Hey, you're you're an athlete. Just yeah, relax. No, look. Like as lame as it sounds, be an athlete. Like, I swear to God, when she moved to Mayhem, the first thing we did went and bought her a bike. And she went to Mayhem and we've never seen it again. It's silver, it's pretty shitty. Is it shitty? <laughs> it was two thousand dollars. No, no way. Yes it was. You got you got half. Man. I get screwed. <laughs> I didn't want to do one. She said it's broke. Did you break it? I didn't break it. You didn't break it. So it's a jump bike. It's not very nice. She's a Mayhem sponsored athlete. She ought to get a free bike. No, it's right. She should. A specialized. She ought to have the get best bike. Doesn't she have an agent? <laughs> no, she doesn't. Specialized. You know have like pedestals for the bikes. They need like professional mounts. Like men should not happen to be following you on a bike. I agree. And with one hand it's dangerous. You I know agree. what the workman's comp is for I that? I agree. But if he has a tripod on the bike, he can run that with his He can find one. He wanted a scooter so he didn't have to do anything. I, I, I think it's nice. It was <laughs> I told him it was like two thousand dollars on it. It's nice, he says, well she needs this bike. And I said, well she's a mayhem athlete, they should sponsor a bike. And he agreed. We've got it on the camera. Yeah. 
<laughs> Rich owes Bailey a bike. Red, white, and blue, stars and stripes, little Bailey flame down the side. At Specialized. Yeah. <laughs>